Right, it's just a quick video to show um, how you can do sort of vehicle tracking or, or mobile tracking with a, um, a mobile um, DMR radio, um, like the 655, high tier MD655. Um, it's what this one is here. We've got the GPS version um, with an active antenna there and just a small LiPo pack just so that we can test this mobile radio. It's quite handy for programming as well, just having a, a, a LiPo pack like that just hanging around. Um, so you don't have to plug in a, a, a you know, proper PSU to the device there. Um, we've got a, sort of just a normal um, handheld whip on the top of that and the microphone's connected. You don't actually have to have the microphone connected at all um, for this sort of setup. So you could just have this beacon in and out of GPS position um, just in a standalone mode. So it's a really compact way of, of doing that um, if you've got a need to send GPS or actually any other data because you've got the data put on this radio as well so you can actually send um, data over DMR um, protocol so it's quite quite interesting stuff um, but basically what we've got here um, is so we've got a beacon set up on on this radio you see that red light there just it basically sends a GPS coordinate every 30 seconds or a minute I think I've got it set to and then what happens that obviously goes over the air straight across to our MD785 there and um, then that is connected to the PC, so it will basically um, pick up the GPS coordinates from that um, from our number one radio. We have the Shack Cat as well. Um, <laughs> so yeah, it's quite it's quite an interesting um, quite an interesting sort of experiment to do. Um, it's quite good for testing range of your station if you're sort of ham radio enthusiast that kind of thing, or um, you know if you wanted to sort of track fleets of. Um, vehicles not using sort of GSM or any other sort of um, you know I don't know I suppose disaster um, type scenarios where you know you can't be relying on the um, on the cell structure of the mobile phone network things like that um, so it's quite an interesting um, quite an interesting thing so if you go back over to this software over here what you can see is GPS coordinates so and they're beaming in, obviously, off that radio. Um, this is then saved out into a um, actually a, a sort of Google Earth compatible format. So you can then, um, right here, you can sort of zoom in. You see that very faint line there. Um, you can actually make that a lot, lot brighter using the Google tools and stuff. Um, but basically, yeah, you can do you know proper proper tracking just with um, just with two radios. Um, so yeah, it's quite a useful um, quite a useful experiment. So what we're going to do is just get this um, <clears throat> get this installed, get this put in the car as well. Um, it, it is the mobile radio that I use for for um, for other stuff. So um, you know we're just going to test out, see the range of um, range of transmission. Interesting thing about beacons: what happens is you have to set up your beacon in the CPS um, to send it to a specific um, radio ID. So I've actually set it to this one from this one to then. Um, obviously beam it to the, send it to uh, this MD785 which has got a, a specific idea of its own. Um, you have to do that because then what happens is this radio acknowledges that it's actually got received the beacon from here. So I don't know if you can see it, but if you if you get, so we're on the channel 3 there, what, what you can do is you can actually, when you change the channel, it will also do a beacon as well. You do, do a beacon every every minute every channel change, every power on, power off, um, so it's quite useful. Um, so uh, if we just get it to do a beacon, you'll see it'll go red, which is transmitting, and then it'll also go green very quickly after, which is the receive, receiving radio saying that it's actually acknowledged. There you go, you saw it there, I didn't need to do it. Um, it went red and green very quickly. You can replicate that. So you go red, green, and that's then saying that obviously this one sends it out, this radio sends it out, and the MD785 over there sends back a signal saying, yes, I've received that beacon, and all is all is well. So yeah, it's quite interesting finding that stuff out because, you know, it's um, it's not kind of really written anywhere um, how that is how that is worked out. So um, hopefully that's interesting information for anyone who wants to do a similar thing. Um, you know, there's some jiggery poking in the CPS, you've got to obviously set all these things up right to to enable this but um uh, we can uh, we can do all of that so yeah i hope you enjoyed the uh, the video